What's up guys, this is Jeremy with the Arkansas CW and today we're down here at the Steel Horse Rally. But first, we stopped by the Fort Smith Museum of History to speak with Lisa about this cool display of bikes in here. Lisa, how's it going? Great, we're ready for the Motorcycle Rally and this is our Motorcycle Memories exhibit. Yes ma'am, and it looks really cool in here. So can you tell me more about this? Cause I, I see some nice stuff in here. Oh yes, this, this exhibit is uh, features uh, photographs, artifacts and vintage motorcycles. Okay. And it sort of uh, centers around this fellow right here. Okay, back gotcha. of me. There was a Quinn Winters Motorcycle Shop uh -huh. was here uh, in Fort Smith from the late 30s through the 1970s. A long it time ago. A long time, and he was there. Uh, he was like the nexus of motorcycle activity okay. for the region. A lot of really well-known people, uh, amateur and professional motorcycle racers, would stop in Quinn Winters Shop when they were in town. Okay, so really gotcha. So it was famous. a hot commodity. It was a hot commodity. Okay. Quinn Winters had three children, uh, two boys and a girl. Oh, they all rode motorcycles, oh. all grew up riding motorcycles, but before they were allowed to ride a motorcycle, they had to accomplish learning to ride a unicycle. This bad boy right here? Right here in the case. Let's These see. are uh, Quinn Winters wow. unicycles. Let's see, Lisa, I personally feel like learning how to ride a unicycle would be more difficult than learning how to ride an actual motorcycle, because I would not be able to prop myself up on this. So can you show me more? In here? Right here, these okay. uh, pictures you see here, these, uh, this was a racetrack. It was used for motorcycle racing and car racing okay. and horse racing. And it was to, uh, where uh, Ramsey Junior High is today. Gotcha. It was a racetrack at that time. And this shows you some pictures wow, from that the is historic. 30s, 40s at the racetrack and what is now Ramsey Junior High. That is wonderful. It's great. It, here are some pictures of uh, Quinn Winter's sons, okay. uh, Robert and Leroy, riding their unicycles, okay. which are pretty cool. And then here, uh, Robert Winters uh, won the Daytona 250 Grand Prix in 1966. And the red helmet you see in the case here is the helmet he oh, was wow. riding. This is authentic for real right here. And that's a wow. real deal. And that is what museums are all right about, mm -hmm. having the artifact and the story that goes with it. Of course. So uh, you see him back on the wall here. He won Daytona in 1966 okay. wearing that helmet right there. We also have his metal shoe. If you know, oh, I didn't, uh, even, I didn't even, I didn't even notice that. That's wow. a metal shoe, that, and that shoe. was very important. You can see in the picture, mm -hmm. the foot has to go to the ground when you're coming around a curve. Uh -huh. I'm seeing so many cool bikes around. I'd love to see more. Well, okay, let's let's talk about these All right, right here. Yeah. These belong to another one of our Fort Smith okay. motorcycle racing legends. His name is Danny Hammond. Okay, he still lives here today. Uh, I think he's about 76 years old. He comes in and talks to our students mm -hmm. during this exhibit. He okay. was here yesterday, great, great, does great. a great job. Okay. But these all were his motorcycles. He uh, began wow. racing in 1959 at the age of 19. Mm -hmm. He raced professionally through 1970. Uh, the last year he raced, he won 11 out of 16 national races. Oh, wow. So he, he was yeah. a big deal. He was very accomplished. He's a very accomplished. Wow. Uh, there's some photographs in the case there. Mm -hmm. That is him winning uh, at <clears throat> the Astrodome okay. in 1965. Danny Hammond and uh, his good friend, Lynn Stubblefield, built these motorcycles. They were a team. They uh, built the motorcycles together, and Danny raced uh -huh. them. And they would uh, test the motorcycles at Razorback Speedway and Tri-State Speedway. Oh, wow. So close to home. And, Just and everything's would, at home. Yes. And then Danny would go out everywhere racing. And we do have over in this case his mm -hmm. um, oh. leather racing okay. suit. This black and red leather suit. That's a uh, nice suit, actually. It's very nice. And uh, Danny was in Oklahoma City. Okay. Uh, he probably won. Well, he had an accident and he broke his leg. Uh -huh. And the paramedics wanted to cut his leather suit. Uh -huh. And he said, no. Oh, wow. He was like, no, we're keeping that suit. Leathers. And uh -huh. I'm so glad. He, he came all the way home to Fort Smith from mm -hmm. Oklahoma City with a broken leg. Mm -hmm. They somehow managed to remove that uh, suit to set the leg, Wow! but they didn't cut it. So we still have it today. Yeah, see, like something like that has a great story behind it. Yes. That's incredible. And here we go. That's another wonderful artifact with a story. And this Definitely. is his helmet. It's kind of bunged up, if you can see. Uh -huh. And his boots and metal shoe. Wow. Now, Danny retired from racing when he had a, a family. Uh -huh. But later in life, when he was 64 years old, he started uh, racing with the Vintage Dirt Track uh, Racing Association. Okay. And from 2004 to, until 2007, four years in a row, he was 
the number one na national champion. Wow. And he was yeah. competing, he was, at the time he was 64 to 68 years of age, mm -hmm. he was competing with people over 40. He was so, still competing. And, yes, wow. and still winning. That still is, winning. We that is crazy. We have four plaques of the four years that mm -hmm. he won. Can you tell me how long this exhibit will be up on display? This exhibit will be in place through May 31st. May 31st. So the whole month you can check out the motorcycles if you miss them this weekend. Okay, sounds wonderful. Thank you.